On November 23rd, Avi Loeb dropped another major update about 3i Atlas. And with it, we've officially identified what scientists are now calling the 13th anomaly. And I'm going to be honest with you, this one might be the strangest of them all. Because unlike the previous anomalies, which were bizarre enough on their own, this one involves a level of mathematical precision that simply should not exist in a naturally occurring interstellar comet. Right now, 3i Atlas is moving steadily toward Jupiter, and on March 16th, 2026, barely four months from now, it'll make its closest pass. Astronomers across the world have been following its path in real time, with observational data coming in from over 230 different observatories, all feeding directly into NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And based on the latest calculations, 3i Atlas is projected to slide past Jupiter at a distance of about 33 million miles. Now, here's where things get interesting. Jupiter has what astronomers refer to as a hill radius. Think of it as Jupiter's invisible gravitational bubble, an enormous boundary surrounding the planet. Any object that wanders inside this bubble gets pulled into Jupiter's gravitational grip and can be captured into orbit. But anything outside the boundary stays dominated by the sun's gravity instead. And this hill radius isn't some random number. It's a precise mathematical calculation based on Jupiter's mass, the sun's mass, and the exact orbital distance between the two at any given moment. It's pure physics, clean, predictable, and extremely exact. Now look at this. NASA's calculations indicate that on March 16th, 3i Atlas will pass Jupiter at 33.21 million miles. Meanwhile, Avi Loeb independently calculated Jupiter's hill radius on that same date and came up with 33.24 million miles. The difference? 35,000 miles. 35,000 miles out of 33 million. To grasp how insane that is, Imagine trying to throw a dart at a dartboard from the opposite end of a football field, while blindfolded and still landing within a tenth of a percent of the bullseye. What 3i Atlas is doing makes that look easy. Statistically, the odds of this happening by random chance are 0.004%, or roughly once in 26,000 attempts. And if the story ended there, this would already be one of the strangest astronomical alignments ever recorded. But that's not where the story ends. This is where things go from strange to absolutely mind-bending. You probably remember that earlier observations showed non-gravitational acceleration coming from 3i Atlas, meaning the comet wasn't moving strictly under the influence of gravity. Something else, something unknown, was exerting force on it, altering its trajectory. This acceleration was measured at roughly 5 times 10 to the 7th astronomical units per day squared. In plain English, that means its path was being nudged, subtly, but consistently, in ways that gravity alone simply can't account for. Neither the Sun, nor Jupiter, nor any planet or known object can explain this force. The result? That mysterious acceleration shifted 3i Atlas's path by about 62,000 miles. And here's the jaw-dropping part. That shift is exactly, down to the mile, what was needed to move the object from its natural trajectory directly toward Jupiter's hill radius. Not near it, not in the general vicinity, directly to it. So, why does that matter so much? Because sitting right at the hill radius are special gravitational balancing points known as Lagrange points. These are the sweet spots of orbital mechanics. At these points, the gravitational pull of two large bodies, like Jupiter and the Sun, can effectively cancel out, creating a stable region where spacecraft can park with almost no fuel use. We use these points all the time. The James Webb Space Telescope sits in one. The SOHO spacecraft sits in one. Multiple satellites use them to maintain stable observation platforms with minimal fuel. These spots are essentially cosmic parking spaces, and 3i Atlas is heading straight for one of Jupiter's, a location you would choose if you wanted to release devices, place probes, or use Jupiter for an energy-efficient gravitational maneuver. And it arrived there only after showing a precise course correction that nudged it right into that gravitational sweet spot. So, 
The big question everyone is debating is simple. What could cause this? As of now, scientists are wrestling with four main explanations. Explanation number one. Our calculations are wrong. Maybe the math is off. Maybe the trajectory will shift when more observations come in. Maybe some minor gravitational influence hasn't been properly modelled. But here's the problem. The JPL horizon system is fed by hundreds of observatories. The calculations have been refined for months. The current margin of error is only 61,000 miles, which means that even the maximum error still doesn't break the hill radius match. In other words, error or not, the alignment holds. Explanation number two. Natural comet outgassing nudged it perfectly. When comets heat up, trapped ice turns into gas and jets outward, acting like tiny thrusters. We've seen this thousands of times. It can absolutely push a comet off course. But here's the issue. Outgassing is chaotic, random, messy. The direction of the jets depends on internal structure, rotation, sunlight, and dozens of unpredictable variables. Yet 3i Atlas received a course correction of exactly 62,000 miles in exactly the direction needed to hit a target only 0.1% wide on the first attempt. The odds of random outgassing doing that? Practically zero. Explanation number three. Sheer coincidence. A large majority of astronomers, about 70%, lean toward this explanation. They argue that in a universe with billions of years of interstellar visitors, eventually one of them will appear to hit an incredibly unlikely target by pure chance. But Avi Loeb pushes back hard on this. We've only ever detected three interstellar objects. Three. And the third one just accidentally hit a 1 in 26,000 probability window? That's the equivalent of buying three lottery tickets in your entire life and hitting the jackpot on ticket number three. Possible. Sure. Likely. Not really. Explanation number four. Artificial propulsion. This is Avi Loeb's controversial hypothesis. He argues that the non-gravitational acceleration may represent some kind of propulsion system, something that intentionally adjusted 3i Atlas's path so it would intersect Jupiter's hill radius. Maybe to deploy instruments. Maybe to use Jupiter for a slingshot maneuver. Or maybe for something we haven't even thought of. The problem? We have no direct evidence yet, no radio emissions, no heat signatures, no visible engines, nothing. Only the extremely precise trajectory correction and the absurdly unlikely alignment. But as scientists love to remind us, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So, here's why this matters. No matter which explanation is correct. If this is just coincidence, then we've witnessed one of the most improbable orbital alignments in the history of astronomy. If this is natural comet behavior, then we're observing physics we've never seen before, something that could reshape our understanding of interstellar objects. If this is a calculation error, fixing it will immediately sharpen our ability to predict future interstellar trajectories. And if, by any chance, there is even a fragment of an artificial component involved, then we are looking at something that rewrites our understanding of the universe. One object, one trajectory, one anomaly, and four wildly different explanations, each with massive implications. So, what do you think? Is this a cosmic coincidence? A strange new form of comet physics? A miscalculation? Or something far more intentional? Drop your thoughts in the comments, because the next few weeks are going to be critical. New data is already on the way, and as that information comes in, we'll finally begin to see which explanation actually holds up. Whatever the truth is, this might be one of the most important astronomical mysteries of our lifetime.